right, things are about to get weird down here at Weird Beard. You guys, stick with me. Well, here we are, guys. This is the Nissan Hardbody. You guys been following along, you'll know I bought this the other day from Copart. And she's rough. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, what happened there? Yeah. That actually had a fender on it when I was bidding on it. So it got ripped off in the shipping process. Uh, I think some forklift drivers might have got a little carried away, but whatever. This thing is pretty rough, you guys. I mean, over here, you can see cab corner's been shoved in. I mean, that's in quite a bit. The door's screwed up. I mean, the door's fixable. The cab corner's gonna have to get pulled out. Of course, gotta get a fender for it. And a few other things, you know, radiator support is trashed. She's pretty rough. And so you might be asking yourself, well, why the hell did you buy it, Weird Beard? What, what was you thinking? This is what I'm thinking. I figured it's a Nissan hard body. You can't go wrong. I mean, the parts are cheap easy to fix why not you know the price was pretty decent on it so i bought it well then we got it home and started messing around with it and we saw stuff like this look at that that is extensive rust on these frame rails she's pretty bad over here's the same way i mean she's she's ate up this isn't typically what you'd find on an Oklahoma truck. Usually our trucks, cars around here are a little, little more rust free than that. They might have some surface rust, but nothing really like that. So when I seen that, it was like, all right, we're, we're gonna have to do something else. I mean, look at this. I mean, that's, that's all flaking off. So I had to think fast, man, what do I do? Wife's gonna kill me, right? Bring on this piece of crap. So I came up with a plan. As you can see, we've already been kind of working on it here and there. We've, we've tore the dash completely out of it. Of course, we've taken the bed off. Here's my plan. I'll let you guys in on this. Some of you guys might hate it. Some of you guys might love it. Obviously, this thing is clapped out. Really not worth fixing, not with stuff like that going on. So I'm going mini truck with it. Some of you guys, commented that that's part of what I was gonna do and you know what you were right I'm gonna build a mini truck this is gonna be cool you might be saying to yourself well how are you gonna build a mini truck frames rusted out well I'm gonna cut all that out anyway because you got to put a C notch in it things like that so there you go we can we can start working with this thing now this thing runs and drives great it even has ice cold AC so we are gonna get rid of the whole body of this truck we're just going to take it off throw it in the trash it's rusted up junk as you can see i mean it's got holes all the way through and it's even worse underneath so this thing's trash man it ain't worth fixing let's do something else with it all right so for you guys freak out on me and switch the channel you're thinking mini truck uh what what are you doing I know some of you guys aren't going to like that kind of stuff, but maybe you'll like this. This is going to be a little bit different. This isn't going to be your typical mini truck build because I got this 1970 Datsun pickup. This thing is in great shape, minus the fact that it has no drivetrain. Body on it is sweet. No rust holes anywhere. I mean, this thing don't even have surface rust. Look at this thing. I love the body style of these old Datsun pickups. This is gonna be cool. I'm gonna take the body of this truck and put it over on that other frame. That's the plan. But I'm not just gonna do just any little you know, body swap. We're actually gonna cut the floor and the firewall out of that other truck, out of the Nissan hard body. 
and we're going to graft it to this cab and that way when we're done we're going to have all the luxury of the nissan hard body and i know what you're thinking luxury what are you talking about air conditioning man that's what i'm talking about we're gonna have ac five speed it's gonna be sweet man so that's the plan we've done some measurements we think it's gonna work we might have to do a lot of cutting and trimming but hey that's to be expected for sure so anyway i've chewed your ear off long enough that's the plan let's get started She came out here to check on us. I think she's digging it. She overheard the plan. She just had to come check it out for herself. Yeah, she likes it. got ourselves a little smudge on the camera here you see that right there that's actually a chip out of the lens brought on by a body hammer so we're gonna have to get us a new lens so bear with us we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this video though as is I'll try to keep the smudge out of the way here we'll put it right there Got a little something missing here. Wow. I bet you that started off with the tire rubbing the rim because the tires are a little bit too big for this thing. And it just little, it, that's what it turned into once the paint was gone. That happened. Here, this is a good door. So, this is a good door so don't drop it to the floor. Right, hang on, hold up. Ain't that about what's about to happen? Got a sweet Pioneer in there. Check it out. So I told you, man, this truck got some good stuff. Now it's real tempting just to come in here and just cut all these wires off. You know, we got a we got a wire that goes up to the power mirror, and we got a wire that goes to the door speaker. I want to save all that because I might I might end up with power mirrors on this old truck. You never know. It'd be kind of a cool little feature. So I want to save all the plugs. Just fish them out. Just takes a few extra minutes. Kind of got everything out of the way now, and you can really see just how bent up that is inside of there. I mean, nothing that couldn't be, you know, either straightened out or or replaced or whatever. But if you went through and you did all of that, you're still going to be left with a rusty old pickup truck because she does have some rust in it. Got a little bit of junk in here, huh? Oh, it's empty, dang. We got a tape measure, cool. Check this out. We got a head gasket. We was pretty sure that it had some head work done to it, and sure enough, I'm telling you, that head's brand new.
All right, so I've gone through and moved a lot of these wires and stuff out of the way. Unbolted the dash from the cab itself. So I should be able to just come through here and we're gonna cut right inside of here. And just get started on it, see where it takes us. Cut this piece out because it's it's very thick and we've got like several layers of metal here all in the same area so we're going to just kind of peel back those layers till we get in there where we can start cutting so i got to make a cut right here and then all the way across the bottom of the windshield and basically this part of the cab just it just all goes away and all we'll be left with is just this area here the floor the firewall we'll get rid of all of this because we'll, we won't be using any of this we'll be using everything from the uh, 1970 Datsun, so we won't need any of this either.
Luckily, we don't care about this glass because it already had a big old crack in it, so we could get a little bit crazy with it. All right, so that was a not so professional glass removal, but whatever, it's done. We've got all these layers that come together, so. You gotta cut through all that. We're just about down to the last layer. There it is. No YouTube video will be complete without a test drive, right?
All right, so this is what's left. And this is exactly what we're gonna do to the other truck, the uh, the old Datsun pickup. We'll do the same exact thing to it, and then we'll set it over on top of this floor that we saved out of the old Nissan hard body. We'll have to come through, we'll have to get rid of all this stuff, trim all this stuff up, probably fit it together a million times before it finally fits right. But that's the plan. That's where we're going with it. I think that's going to do it for this episode. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of where we were going with this thing. A uh, little out of the ordinary, but um, I think it'll be cool. This thing was a rust bucket. It had a lot of rust in it. And it just really wasn't going to be worth fixing. But it ran and drove good. So we're going to use the mechanics of this truck to make an old truck. Kind of bring it up and make it a little more modern. A little more, you know, comfortable to drive with... You know being a five speed and and having air conditioning power steering things like that so that that'll be nice we wanted to do something a little bit different uh than you're just your standard copart build and even though this is a copart build technically it's, it's a little different and uh we don't you know we don't have the budget to do the big supercars and things like that but that doesn't mean we can't keep it interesting and uh just you know do something a little out of the ordinary uh but anyway we're going to get out of here Please like and subscribe. We really do appreciate you guys watching. Check me out on Instagram, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.